All right, so we're out here with my man Pepper here. You'll see in the beginning of this video, this dude charged us full, full force when he came out. A lot of charging and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So this guy definitely was doing it completely out of fear. I don't know if you'll be able to see in the video, but I said it right away. I was like, ah, oh, he's really nervous. So it's a very common one that we tend to see, which is a back of the pack dog who's leading his pack of humans, dogs, whatever it is. He's leading the scenario, so he's doing it out of fear. Right, so you have a back of the pack guy behaving as a front of the pack dog saying, this is my house, we're a nervous house, everyone stay away from us. The owners aren't nervous people. However, with Pepper, they become nervous when people come over, when they see rollerblades, skateboards, other dogs, people, uh, the workers in the building, because they're anticipating Pepper reacting to those situations, obviously. So it's really important that we taking over the position. You'll see already with us, if you, if you scan down to here, you'll see that Pepper's already getting it with us. He's kind of walking calmly and going into through the motions right now. We're gonna spend some time kind of sitting with him and letting him see that we're not a threat. So when, when I took the leash in the beginning from, from uh, the owners, I wasn't doing it in a way of, I'll show you who's boss or I'm gonna take over this situation. I was calm, but I was certain of how it's gonna be. I said, I see all the stuff you're throwing at me, but that's not gonna work. It's not gonna send me away. I'm gonna hear to peacefully and calmly take over the situation. That's all it is. And then once he's, he, he's unsure of what the change is gonna be. So that's why I wanted to let him know, I'm not, I understand you're unsure. I understand you're confused. I'm not holding that against you. I just want you to know that I'm here to be your leader from this point forward. Now that I can show him what leadership means, then I can now link it to the owners when they come back into the picture. So we're going to continue working with Pepper a little bit more, and then you'll see soon we're going to bring the owners back in. So stay tuned. We'll see you soon. So you see right here what I'm doing with my man is just spending time with him. I'm just sitting here and saying, hey, I'm not here to grab you. I'm not here to hurt you. I just want you to be with me. Just hang out with me. I'm not here to like put too much pressure on you. But a few moments ago, he gave me a little bit of like nose, and I'm really curious about you. I want to learn more. So I let him, and I actually leaned my thing. Again, this is do not do it at this at home. This is years of experience in this stuff. But he came in and said, I really want to smell who you are. I started smelling here, but I feel like the state that he's in, he's way more curious. So I lean my head in, let him smell. So now he's, that's a big sign of trust that I'm showing to him. I'm saying, here, I trust you, so it's fair that you can trust me now, too. I'm sticking my head right in the jaws, right right there, that he can nail me if he wanted to, but I'm saying, I trust you. I know you're not going to do that. So he got a little excited about a dog over there. But yeah, so this is really what it is. And another thing I wanted to say also is, when petting a guy like him, a lot of people are going to want to pet on top of the head, which, is gonna, which can bring the head down and make them nervous, and that's going to make them do that kind of thing so instead with guys like this because he's such a, a a weak guy i'm gonna come underneath and kind of pet underneath so he's still a little bit of avoidance but he's dealing with this part he is but i want to bring the head up for him and not keep the head down good job buddy boy so the reason i'm petting now is that he's not in a state of he's not in a state of fear he's not in a state of uh, fight state, a flight state, he's not in avoidance, he's kind of just hanging with us and this is the goal is we want him to give him, to go to a calm follower state which is what he's in right now. So he's not fully trusting just yet but this is why we're building the trust over and over. So we're going to keep doing this as much as we possibly can, we'll bring the owners in, you guys will see the next part. Right buddy? Yes, you're right. So I'll just say, like, cool. It's more valuable to do this and let him go through it and figure out, so how do I, what do I need to do? Uh -huh. Shh. And I add shush to it. So I mark the calm state with shush. Okay. Caesar, Caesar did this on TV and, and people all over the world were going shush, 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 shush to their dogs. <laughs> but when they were- That's it, your sister tried to make him yeah. But when they're in a high state. <laughs> yeah. So I want shush to mean this. Yeah. Shh. It's like basically saying calm. Yeah. Shush. So your sister did that in Pepper freaked out after. Yeah, of course. Because <laughs> he was in an excited state. Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can take them. Yeah. So, so is you this something them? we're not doing? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was just in those positions picking them up and agreeing. Well, you just okay. didn't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. And, they, and someone told you to throw food in the situation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like picture, like those, those people will say, oh, when the UPS guy comes mm -hmm. and the dog goes ballistic, just wait. And then when they stop for a second, throw food. I'm like, they're not gonna Yikes. This is not all the way. We never told them, don't do that. 
So acting like just acting like that didn't happen, especially with a guy like this, he's gonna say, all right, so my humans, by ignoring, they're actually almost agreeing with mm -hmm. in that moment. Mm -hmm. so there's times that ignoring is right. So this is why it's just the next level of stuff. Like okay. it's not just, oh, ignore a behavior. Yeah. or address the behavior it's like well in what context that we're okay. talking this about okay. you see it so like for me when the ups guy comes and he charges someone coming to the door no you're not allowed to do that okay and then he does a good job and he settles good now uh, then I'll... okay so then in that scenario with the ups guy how would you like intervene with the dog like, until he's calm okay so even if that took like 20 minutes he and have to delete the package then okay got it yeah just leave it because it's your house anyway yeah 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 okay yeah. Just leave it. Yeah. Or what I what I like to do is like knock, knock, knock. Because he, he didn't really do much barking, though, yeah. when we knocked. So what uh, was he doing? He was on our bed, like like laying down. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. But he did jump off. Yeah, so you can even leave the leash on and then knock, knock, knock. The first step will be settling him because of the knocking. Okay. Next step is open the door and he's going to be like in that mode. So we create some distance, then we open the door, and then that's going to be the second part of the equation where he mm -hmm. starts to say, well, I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Will we block? No. Settle. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, come on in. Mm -hmm. Just ignore him, please. So make sure all your guests in the touch and rock no eye contact. They have to ignore this guy. Because if they start saying, hey, he's going to be like threat. Okay. So you ask them to ignore, then he settles, and you invite them in, and then you wait for him to start going into curious with the yeah. nose. Yeah. Not with the eyes. When he gets in eyes and ears, that's when he gets in trouble. Okay. But when he's in curious mode, he's good. When he started smelling me, he was like, oh, look at you. Yeah. That's he a good warms thing. up to that's people good. once he gets to know him, yeah. So we have to just, we have, we have the, the winning formula. Yeah. Once we take that leadership position and then you add like that stuff in and once he gets to know people, then he's going to be really good. Okay, great. He just has to have more repetitions of meeting people. But meeting people who are doing, uh, first you guys doing what I did was take control of the situation. Mm -hmm. And then people who can assist you in just ignoring him mm -hmm. and not being scared of him and not being nervous of him and stuff like that. People are terrified of him and tell them that we'll condition him to a muscle. Yeah. And just say, hey, I can't bite you. Yeah. Something to be scared of. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when you grab the leash, most people grab it this way because they're used to. If you think about, it, we walk normally with our hands at our sides, see? Right? Yeah. Like this. So if I'm walking this way, if I grab the leash like most people do from underneath, I'm ready for the leash to be in front. Mm -hmm. But I want the leash to be behind, so I pick it up from here. And I always tell people, picture this is like a nice ice cream cone. Okay. I mean, how would I grab an ice cream cone? Like right here. Okay. Right? So I'm gonna pick it here, pinky towards the dog. So now I'm going to say, all right, so here I am. So what distance do I have this guy? Good night. So what distance should I do this? So I'm going to slide my arm down and say, where is it fit? Like right here, so you can get this. Well, this, and now I'm good. Okay. If he comes into your space, then you just block him. That's good. Okay. And relax your arm. Yes. So if he starts to move forward, I go too far in front, that's going to be quiet. We want to be able to walk and enjoy our walk like we want to be walking, even if you didn't have a dog with you. But a lot of times what happens is as soon as I hand the leash to a person, they go from walking like this to this. Thank you.